Hello everyone and welcome. It's roommate back here playing some timeless and today I'm just getting a meta deck in four color beans. Um, I kind of got this left offline. Um, I needed I didn't have enough wild cards and with a new set coming out I didn't want to spend too many so I made some changes in the sideboard but other than that um, this is a uh, four color up the beanstalk deck and obviously this is this is the main card but you also get to play or so up the beanstalk with solitude fury and leyline binding to draw you cards and if you get multiple up the beanstalks it can help you chain through your entire deck and then obviously hard casting these is just so much card advantage it's, it's really really powerful the rest of your deck is just kind of a four color control like tap out control deck is what i would say um omnath it pitches to your pitch elementals it mana ramps and it gains you life so it's a really really strong card minskin boot very strong planeswalker maybe the best in the format if it like goes unchecked obviously all but it's such a fast clock it can draw cards so it's a really strong card oko just another great card uh flage really powerful against all the token that are not the tokens all the go wide decks so boros energy just being able to escape it lightning helix is really good fable just one of the best mid-range cards ever printed from almost every format so fables really good in swords and you're just this four color mid-range deck and as you can probably tell main deck against show and tell is pretty weak but you do have multiple pajajus and leyland bindings to try and rectify that sideboard i made was where i made some changes so because show and tell is such a bad mass up spell pierce dovin's veto fluster storm and cruising grip are all the show and tell mat are all for show and tell it's really important that matchup's really hard and some of these cards like spell pierce is good against the zorn decks or against necropotence decks dova veto good against control decks alpine moon just because feel that is really hard for this deck to beat and they just go over the top of you and then endurance is your zero mana graveyard interaction but that is four color beans mid-range ash control it's like sort of a mix in between and i'm going to be taking this into some best of threes and see how we do welcome into round one i'm playing four color beans against taga uh this hand i'm against a yorion deck this is going to be a mirror match uh buckle up this is gonna take a long long time uh windswept teeth pass i could be a boros energy deck i there's no way yorion's not like a control deck right delighted halfling do i want a triumph or do i just want to kill the go I kind of just want to kill the Delighted Halfling. Um, just get Green White. And then this can get Red Blue. Yeah. Steam Vents. And up the Beanstalk. Draw another up the Beanstalk. Okay. Honestly, next turn, if I go Beanstalk Swords, not going to be on hat. <laughs> yep, it is a mirror match. I really want to draw a land. That's on a land. Ugh. Well, I do have to play Fable. Uh, this is going to take forever. I'm surprised they're on Delighted Halfling.
swords. Sure. Are you gonna bejeju my fable? No. Um, yeah, goodbye, Felage. I think that's fine. Uh, play another beanstalk. Draw another swords. Play a tap land and pass. More when revealed. I do get to get a reflection next turn. Actually, if they tap out for like an Omnath and I get a like swords plus a Minskin boot, one ring. Okay. Uh, that's another land. Probably in trouble. Take action. Play a nice boo. No attacks. End turn. Resolves. Yeah. Probably in a bit of trouble. It's a fury. Solitude, draw a card. Yep. And con concede. I don't know why they conceded there. <laughs> um, kind of like Dolvin's Veto and Spell Pierce. And the Out Swords. Yeah, kind of like that. Actually, not super weak to the One Ring. Um, uh, cause Oko and Leyline Mining were, are good against the One Ring, and then Spell Pierce, Dovin Zito are very good against the One Ring. Ugh. I have to mulligan. <laughs> Man, this, this, these two Pajajus, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep. Don't need a solitude. Death right. Sure. Um, I need to hit land drop, so I do play an elegant parlor. I would like that. Um, yeah, I need to make sure I hit land drops. That's, that's all that matters right now. Nice. Um, pass. Yes, these two elves are decent against me, but... Um, I have double Leyland Binding. Like, I want them to tap out for a one ring here. That would actually be really good for me. Resolves. Omnath. Uh, sure. That's good for them. They draw. Tap land. So, I'm going to get Zagoth Trium and just Leyline Binding the Omnath. Fetch. Um, I'm just going to play Oko. It's pretty good here. They can't really attack it down. If they play a one ring, yes, it draws them a card, but then I'm going to Elk it. So... Uh, 
Like, Fury doesn't kill this this turn. More when revealed, sure. I'm totally okay with that. That means my Oko can live. Did they find a Leyline Binding? No. No, they delighted half them. Sure. Um. I kind of want their death right, Shaman. Like, it's pretty good. Um. And I have this extra Oko. Sure. I will steal one of your death ray shamans. And play a Minsk Imbu. Uh, what land do I want? Um, I don't have double red or double white. So, Sacred Foundry. Minsk Imbu. Take action. Uh, does four da Yeah, four damage is pretty good here. I don't mind if they attack my Oko down. Because I have another one. And, like, Fury would be good against me either way, so... And they have to be, like, not afraid, but they have to respect my solitude, which I like. Uh, decline. Ooh, that's a good draw. Um. I really feel like this is a solitude. So, just in case it is, I'm gonna Omnath first. Why I'm doing that is so if they. Ooh. Lands very good. Um, plus. So, I could try and draw three cards, or four cards. Um, if they solitude this in response, do I, I can sack the Omnath? Um, I can sack the Death Ray Shaman. Um, I really think this is a solitude. So, it's going to target this. Attack for seven. They're not going to do anything. I'm going to hold up Dovin's Veto. Because I don't actually need the extra mana here. It was a Solitude. Goodbye, Omnath. You gain three. I would like them to try and play a one ring. So I can Dovin's Veto it. Swords to Plowsharing. That's good. Um, I'm just going to make a white. It's gone. They're all attacking my Minskin Boo. Uh, do I need to shock? Uh, I'm at 23. Shocking's fine. Playline Binding. Get rid of the Solitude. So they basically need a One Ring here? Oh! I said buckle up for some long ones. That was a pretty clean 2-0 with Minskin Boo 
proving why it's such a powerful card in these mid-range matchups. And I will be back in a bit for round two. Welcome back for round two. I'm playing four color beans. I'm keeping the hand against Yag Yaga Suzy. Zuzi. I don't know that name. If that's a character from a show, don't know it. Um, this is a good hand. Uh, yeah, this is the only thing I would kind of want to find is a beanstalk, but that's like most games with this deck. <laughs> you just want to find a beanstalk. But against Alurus, this is a, a good hand. Yeah, I have a bunch of removal spells with a really good threat. So getting a card advantage engine would be nice. Uh, so like up the beanstalk, fable, oko, omnath, all where I would like to be. Guide of souls. Yep. Okay. Uh, temple garden. Yeah, I'm just going to play a fetch land that can go get Zagoth Triumph and pass. Um, one Guide of Souls isn't like the worst for me. Being able to do like... Binding and a Fury next turn would be really good. Like, if they go Guide of Souls, Ocelot Pride, that would be unfortunate, but... Because then I would... I guess I could Binding the one they pump. Um... If they just like playing a Johnny, like I'm golden. Guide of Souls. Death Rate Shaman. Okay. This is fine. I am gonna take take a chunk here, but I do get to kill their stuff. Um Ooh, this is interesting. Is it Elegant Parlor or is it a Triumph? Um, I kind of want another red card other than Flage. So. Oh. Uh, yeah. Swords is good, but I still kind of want to draw like another red card. I have this Binding. So I got a binding fury. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Actually, hmm. yeah, this is, this is going to hurt a little bit, but Drew the Sagoth Triumph, so um, I think Flage will be better for me this match. <laughs> okay, so kill those two. And then next turn, I have a Leyline Binding Amp Raptor. Yep. Into Court of Calling. Uh, yes, I will take that. The only weird thing about Zagoth Trium is it's like bad with Fleech. Let's see if they want to hit me for five. Guide of Souls is such a good card. Totally underrated it. I just saw it as a soul sister. But it it, it is so strong. 
static prison my beans sure they do want to hit me for five that's fine Ooh. Ah. I only have one white um I mean get rid of that play a tap land pass this is gonna eat their energy and I have this flage What do they have? They're drawing Alaris. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna flage. Go up. Play a tap land and pass. I could have shocked, but I don't think shocking's where I want to be. They need land plus Alaris, which they found. Yep, and it's probably going to be Guide of Souls. Or Deathrite Shaman. Both are good options, but I'm going to get my beans back next turn. I could see an argument for Deathrite Shaman because I have this flage. Yep. Omnath. I don't have a fetch land, so yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm getting this beans back too. Like, I get this beans back. They can't eat my flage. And then, then Omnath if I need it. So I think I'm okay going to six here. And then obviously if they attack my Oko, like totally fine with that. Cause I have a second Oko. They must have a Galvanic Discharge, and they're wondering if they want to keep their Static Prison around. Which they could do two to the Oko, then pay for the Static Prison, and attack the Oko. Okay. So, get a Beans. Get a draw. <laughs> Another Beans. Which is fine. They shocked in a card. What? What is that? Uh, a red or a white source is perfect here up the beans uh, just gotta pay to flash this back my graveyard doesn't matter go up to seven And I think stabilize. They can only use one bolt here. Don't know what else they could have. Like, are they gonna kill their death right shaman in response? Cord X equals two. Is this a bowmaster? Oh. Okay. 
So this is like a Sam combo deck? Oh, uh, I guess if they have Static Prison, I'm dead. Oh, Swords. Okay, not dead. What's this last card? Birthing Ritual. Okay. I mean, I am drawing to so many cards. Johnny. Uh, Fable is not one of those, like, win the game cards, but it's still pretty good. Do I want there a Johnny? No. I'll just make a food. Like, I don't care if they flip the Johnny in their end step. I, I will block. It's just four color energy. Interesting. With like a sack, like, huh? I wonder what Bartholomew was for. Block. So they can get a one drop. Which is fine. Another fable. Actually, yeah. I just want to draw like an elemental. Perfect. Solitude. Draw two cards. Minskinbu Temple Garden. It's a little unfortunate that it's going to be a post combat. Um. Minskinbu, but I think this game's over either way. I'm at 12. I have just a crazy board. There are Luris deck. Yeah. That was pretty sweet. Just able to squeak it out. What do I even sideboard? Um, spell. No. I don't think I sideboard here. Like, my main deck is built to beat them. Don't need f Disruptor Flutes, Dovin's Veto. I mean, Crows and Grips, not even that good. Because they are. I guess, like, maybe Endurance is okay. Yeah, if they're like a cat combo deck, kind of like in in, in that, I kind of like two endurances. But I mean, again, my main deck is designed to beat these energy decks. And it it showed like why this deck is powerful. I don't see it very often. Um, it is a lot of wild cards, so that could be part of it, but, um, it's just like, you get so much value off just a couple of cards that you can just jam the free interaction, solitudes and furies and leyline, and leyline binds not free, but you just get a jam a ton of good interaction and then your deck is just so good at generating value and and you saw that there like just interact 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 stabilize and then just turn the corner with you know just on that fable oh go while interacting which is why the deck is is pretty strong um 
I don't see it very often. But when I do, it's normally pretty good against me. I think it's like, it is, it does have a bad matchup against show and tell. There's a, that's why there's so many sideboard cards specifically for the show and tell matchup. Because you don't have a fast clock and you don't have like premium interaction. But, I mean, against these aggro decks, it's very good. Um, Fury plus two removal spells on the draw. So I need to go like land, land. Uh, I'll keep. Beans is like always a good draw. I also, I really like that there is non-expensive cards to win, because in, like, some matchups, Beans, if you're, like, relying on Fury and Solitude and, to win you the games, like, Beans can actually be, like, a concern about, you know, overdrawing your whole deck, so being able to play Minskin Boot and just having, like, this three-turn clock, basically... It's just like, I'm going to end the game super, super fast. What do they got? I would like to draw land or an up the beanstalk. Amp drop there. Sure. Guide of souls. Yep, that's a good card. Uh, Got to pass. I don't need to do anything right now. I don't really want to do anything right now. Another Amp Raptor. Sure. Into a Death Rite Shaman. Sure. Four energy. If they go to combat think I'm just going to kill this guy of souls and take two and then use a fury to clean these up. Ocelot pride. Ooh. And then one right to end step. Um, yeah, that's fine. Endurance. Uh, don't need this on math. Uh, one, two, three, four. Submit. Pass. Yeah, I, I do need a land. Actually, I need two lands. Another Ocelot Pride. Sure. The question is, is it better to like try and fury their stuff or solitude this? Um, I don't think I'm going to lose to a 1 1. I want to find spell um yeah sorry minskin boo i'm just gonna kill these ones i like i don't see myself losing to this i still have two removal spells Yeah, hopefully their turn's just like 
by Luris go and I find a land. And then I can endurance when they Luris. So they don't get any value off of it. Bartholomew land. So this is going to be a Laris. I'm just going to swords this. Yeah, green untapped mana is what I really want. Did I get there? <sighs> no. Yeah, they're going to Laris back like an ocelot pride. Yep. Yep. I mean, I have to kill this Luris. Uh, untap land or another fury. <laughs> of course. And get the green card afterwards. Uh, yeah, they're gonna make a bunch of tokens this turn. Sam. So they are a cat combo deck. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one land that can't cast my spells. Ugh. I mean, it was a risky keep, but I'm all... yeah. Uh, so they are a cat combo deck. Uh, no, I. I just think if I drew a land there, I was like golden. So. And the cat combo is Samurai Ganji, Bartolomeu, and Cauldron Familiar. Basically, whenever Cauldron Familiar enters, Samwise makes a food token. Bartolomeu lets you sacrifice Cauldron Familiar. And then you sacrifice the food, get back the cauldron, make food, sacrifice, and then it drains your opponent out. So. Yeah, if. if even if they uh, switched and I just got to Endurance when they Luris, then killed the Luris, I could s s maybe have stabilized, but it's just kept the two lander and yeah. It's, I think the only spell I spent mana on was the Swords. Okay, play first, mulligan, oh this hand's still terrible, <laughs> I'm gonna keep, but this hand is terrible, um, endurance is like okay, I could just lose to a guide of souls here, it's sort of the risk, Keep six, get rid of a Bajaju. I kinda wanna get a surveil land here. Just try and find spells. The only problem is is it makes casting this endurance pretty hard. But they cast a death rate shaman. Um yeah, I'm gonna elegant parlor. Oh, flage is good. Um, 
Yeah, Flage is pretty good. I do like that Flage can kill the Death Ray Shaman, so they can't eat it. This is going to go get... I don't have a green trial. Yeah, that's like a weird spot in the deck. There's no green white trial. Um, oh, another death rate shaman. That is a bit of trouble. So they will get to eat my flage. Um, I need green. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get my Trium. <laughs> um, just gonna hold up endurance here. Shock. Uh, sure. Is a bowman? Yeah, this is a bowmaster. Yep. What do they got? Um, a Johnny. It's a good card. Uh, I am going to try and eat the Bowmaster. Um, let me see. In order to kill me from... If I tap out, they need to draw the three combo pieces. Your graveyard. Right? Yeah. They need to draw exactly like Cauldron Familiar, Court of Calling Sam, and then that is... The only way the combo kills me, but it looks like they have a spell. I would like to find a fury. That would be really good. They have a cord. What are they going to get with the cord? Just like a Bartholomew. It's probably it. Yep. It's pretty good. Take one. So if they have exactly Sam Cauldron Familiar, I am dead. I have no way of beating that. My Flage doesn't kill anything. Um, because they can just sacrifice stuff. Ugh. Hmm. 
I think I just have to play a Minskin Boo and pass and hope I'm not dead. Um, I have two green. I only have one blue. I have another blue in hand. Um, I can just get a forest. This is fine. I'm just going to play a Minskin Boo. Just good for next turn. If they don't kill me. Nope. Okay. Oh, actually, no, they still can't kill me even if they mill the cauldron familiar because they don't have a way of making a food. What is this last card? Birthing Ritual. Okay. Which I'm not actually super terrified of. Next turn, I get to kill this Bartholomew, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so they can only grow it to seven. And then Foyage plus Minskin Boo gets rid of it. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's gonna do this. So it takes two. They don't have a red creature. This forces two sacrifices. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm okay cashing in Boo for four cards next turn. Yep. Like, they're not gonna trade. So, the only thing that would be really bad for me is if this Birthing Ritual finds um bowmaster that would be unfortunate for me yep so they had to sacrifice two cards who takes two are they gonna flip a johnny well i guess if they flip a johnny then they make another token and then bartholomew gets one two three no bartholomew still dies that that scenario yep flip the johnny So, yeah, basically, if they find another Ajani or Bowmaster, I'd be sad. It's a one drop they're getting. What is it? Cauldron Familiar. Sure. Eyes on the tip of your tongue. Decline. Fetch land's pretty bad. Attack. They probably let Johnny die. Yep. So I'm going to trade him Minskin Boo for four cards. Okay. 
kill the Bart or not kill, but damage Bartholomew. Oh, that's a fury. That's a fury that I get to hard cast. Ooh. Oh, but if I hard cast, um, yeah. I can't kill the death right shaman this way. But I do get to, right? Uh, so it has one, they can grow it to three, so yeah, I have to target three damage on it. So their death rate shaman's still alive. But they cannot combo kill me next turn. Which is good. They get to gain a couple life. Or could they combo kill me? Let me see. They draw Sam Birthing Ritual into a Bartholomew, I guess. And then they get a food. Yeah. This they can combo kill me. Okay. Don't they're gonna sacrifice this death right shaman? Yeah. That's like too many lands. Um Flage. Shoot the death right. They cannot eat the flage. Um do I push Sheju, the Birthing Ritual? Um, for one mana. Or do I? No, I think Oko is. No, is Oko better? Let me see. Maybe getting. Okay, so. They play. Whereas they find Bartholomew. Um, I just don't need to tap out here. So just like being able to kill the birthing ritual before they go to end step. It's like where I where I'd rather be. Think they're gonna get a Bartholomew here? No, Johnny. Sure. Where shall we hunt today? I'm going to get rid of the birthing ritual. Makes their like oops comboing a lot more difficult. Omnath. Can I Omnath plus Flage? I can. So blue. Oh. Red. White. Green. Omnath. Um, do I attack first? All fetch lands. Um, the attack just kills that, and then they flip. Um, I don't think it truly matters. Because I have to kill Luris here. Like, there's no its hands or butts about it. I have to kill Luris here. And, like, a Johnny 
is good, but I have a Fury, Omnath, and a Flage. So. Actually. Wait a minute. I can do math. I get to. <laughs> I get to Flage and Oko. I missed that one. Yeah, that's just... That's just gonna end the game. Because I gotta Oko kill... Or not kill the Luris, but just get silence the Luris. Yeah. I guess if they find like a return to the ranks, they'll be in a good spot. But I don't think they'll be playing like something like that or rally the ancestors. Like these decks normally don't play a card like rally. Good game. And that is a victory, 2-0. And I'm back here for the wrap-up. I went 2-0 with this deck. The second match was super long. And I don't like going too much over an hour for my videos. So I'm just going to end it there with 2-0. I did pretty well. I did not play against Show & Tell. Um, this deck's good. It's just totally fine. It's really good against the creature creature decks, up the beanstalk, flage, Minsk and Boo showed its reason why it's like super, super powerful. Love Minsk and Boo. Um, Oko was pretty good. And then obviously Fury, Leyline Binding, Solitude. Like These are all just good cards. This deck just gets to play a high density of really good excuse me, of really good cards. Um, the only thing that feels like super awkward with this deck is Flage with so many lands that don't help cast it. You have a Triome, so you have one, two, three, four, five lands that don't help with Flage. So it can be a little awkward, but if you just use Flage as your like turn seven threat, like you'll be fine. But this deck was really strong. Sideboard. I didn't play against Show and Tell or Titan, which is most of my sideboard. So, um, yeah, if you like playing these tap out control -y decks, this is totally good for the meta. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And.